Valentine's Day is the... What is that? Dear, I hate everything. You are the sunshine of my life. From your mystery Valentine. Jesus Christ. Ooh, look, a card. Who's it from? Aquaman, if you ever send me any sort of card slash mail again, I am going to kill you. From I hate everything. P.S. F*** you. Oh. Valentine's Day, or as I like to call it, that day them companies want you to spend money on tat to prove to your significant other that you think they're a worthwhile human piece of meaty skin flesh. Like, we seriously need a day dedicated to this, because the only way we can show our feelings is by spending money on red-coloured objects. Terrible red-coloured objects. So the origin of Valentine's Day, from what I understand, began as a religious worship of the Christian saints named Valentinus. The most popular story, based around the Saint Valentine of Rome, describes how he was put in prison for performing weddings for soldiers who were not allowed to marry. So while he was in jail, it is said that he healed the daughter of his jailer, and before his execution, he wrote the jailer's daughter a letter signed, Your Valentine, as a last goodbye. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see the bright red shells of f***ing junk in the shops for Valentine's Day, I am really reminded of this dark and emotional story. <clears throat> I despise the way our society waters down our history to the most materialistic and profitable bullshit imaginable. And as much as I hate to say it, there's nothing wrong with the idea of spreading a bit of love and appreciation for those you care about. But why do we need a tasteless, lifeless, obnoxiously nauseating day completely dedicated to it? Let's talk about some of the weird, outdated, and just downright stupid traditions of Valentine's Day, shall we? So if a woman saw a robin flying overhead on Valentine's Day, it meant she would marry a sailor. If she saw a sparrow, she would marry a poor man and be very happy. And if she saw a goldfinch, she would marry a rich person. Well, that's all well and good, but what about all the other birds you might see? What if you saw a blackbird? Well, I guess you'd have to marry Shia LaBeouf. Or if you saw a seagull, I'm afraid you'd have no choice but to marry a homeless bum. Seems like a pretty flawed system, if you ask me. So another tradition is that the first man an unmarried woman saw on the 14th of February would be her future husband. Again, what if the first man you saw was your dad, or your brother, or your grandfather, or a homeless bum? Are you starting to see a pattern with these strange, outdated traditions? It seems to me like it was just a day designed around trying to scare women into thinking they're gonna have to marry the first random dude they see. If I was a woman when these weird, stupid traditions were still in place, I guess I'd just walk around with a blindfold on all day. F*** a bunch of that. So while the traditions might be pretty weird and outdated, at least they're somewhat laughable. The thing that gets me the most is the over-the-top, sappy bullshit all the cards and other crap have riddled all over them. You are the sunshine of my life. I guess that means that you're literally the light source of the spoken person's life. Sure, you can get some warmth now and again, but sunshine can also give you sunburn, blind you, or even give you skin cancer. You hold a special place in my heart. <coughs> love is in the air. That might be a nice sentiment and everything, but I can't imagine love air being very healthy. It's probably something similar to breathing in a liquidated Big Mac. I love you beyond measure. Oh, piss off with that. Shut up. Shut up. You've always been the one for me. Okay, that, that one's pretty good. Over here in the UK, just under half the entire population spend money on their valentines with £1.3 billion spent yearly on cards, flowers and other slime. I'm sure it's even more in the US. And there's me sat there just thinking, Oh, I thought the government's running out of money. Um, I... F*** reasoning with it. F*** Valentine's Day. So those are my thoughts on the beloved Valentine's Day. But what do you think? Did I miss anything out? Agree or disagree? Tell me in the comments below. So last time I asked if Sonic the Hedgehog or Mario the... the fat Italian plumber was better. And here are the results. Some people went for Sonic. But the overwhelming majority went for Mario. So as far for this week's question, 
which holiday do you hate the most? Be it Halloween, Easter, Christmas, Valentine's Day, whatever. Leave your answer below for a chance to be featured at the end of the next video. So as always, thanks for watching, all comments and ratings are appreciated, see you next time, bye!